It's not every day your patron saint comes for a visit. Inside this duffel bag, at least some of that patron saint, this is Francis Xavier's right arm. In Canada, for the very first time, 465 years after he died. Where's the rest of them? Goa, India. Goa, India? Yes. Why there? Well, that's the main place he did his ministry. Angèle Renier knows all about St. Francis. Take a moment and ask for the powerful intercession. Her Catholic Saint Christian Francis Outreach Saint Organization engineered this visit. Who is somehow mysteriously present to us. The arm, a relic for the Catholic faithful, considered uncorrupted from normal decomposition. A testament, they say, to Xavier's exceptionalism. The arm has only left its home in Rome a handful of times. And if you wonder how a patron saint flies, well, this time it's by Air Canada. The relic picked up by the Archbishop of Ottawa. I mean, it's remarkable that it's in the condition that it's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are fascinated by it. Some are repelled by it and some are attracted by it. Archbishop Prendergast understands if not everyone wants to see the arm up close, but as it begins a rare tour of Canada, 75,000 people are expected. And that makes it very valuable. Well, we have to keep watch over it. Uh, we also have to make sure that it doesn't get damaged or stolen. Uh, we have it insured for that. Like, how do you fly? Well, the relic itself will have its own seat on the plane, from what I understand, beside me. It'll be Darcy Murphy's job to watch over it. How do you explain carrying part of his body as opposed to just reading about him in a book? I, th I think what's cool about it is it's, it's that physical encounter. So it's, it's, it's more than just um, reading about him. It's something that's still physically present. Like, it's, it's literally his arm. The same arm said to have converted and baptized 100,000 people, mostly in India. That was very profound because this is the saying that converted my ancestors to Christianity and if it wasn't for his mission in Goa, I wouldn't be here today in Canada practicing out my Christian values. To some, this will all seem a bit strange. To others though, it is a remarkable experience. An emotional one, too. Scene set to repeat as the arm of St. Francis tours this country. David Common, CBC News, Ottawa.